Hi, and welcome to the Cybersecurity Training Series, where we cover a wide range of topics, including application security, network security, encryption, and identity and access management. In this short clip, we will tell you what Single Sign-On, or SSO for short, is. If you are embarking on your cybersecurity career, or simply want to expand your knowledge of this field, SSO is an important concept. It is widely used in enterprises, all major social media platforms, websites, and major IT solutions. So what is SSO? SSO is a method that allows a user to establish their identity once and access multiple systems. The idea behind SSO is rather simple and familiar in our modern life. Think of an office employee who needs access to multiple buildings for his work. Let's call him Michael. The very first step for Michael is to go to the security office and get his access card. He provides his driver's license to prove his identity. The security personnel then issue Michael a single access card for all the buildings he is authorised to access. Depending on Michael's access level, his card may not give him access to all floors of a given building. Even within a floor, he may have access only to certain areas. SSO works similarly in some ways. Say Maurice is a computer geek and has access to several websites. He needs to sign up to yet another website like stackoverflow.com. Holding separate usernames and passwords for each website can be difficult to manage. For this reason, Maurice decides to use his Google account to log into Stack Overflow. He clicks on the Google login option and enters his username and password. After authenticating, Google lets stackoverflow.com know that Maurice Moss is a valid user. Now let's look at this process in more detail and see what happens under the hood. Maurice visits stackoverflow.com and the content loads in his browser. Stack Overflow is known as a service provider in this scenario. He clicks on login and sees the option to log in using Google. Google in this scenario is called authorization server or identity provider. When Maurice clicks on Google from stackoverflow.com, his browser takes him to the Google login page. Google authenticates Maurice, then asks him to allow stackoverflow.com to access some of his information stored in his Google account. If granted, Google generates a token and sends Maurice's browser back to stackoverflow.com with the token attached. Stack Overflow validates the token with Google and extracts the information Maurice consented to share. Now Maurice can use Stack Overflow as a logged in user. This process is conceptually simple. There are, however, different ways of implementing it. Several protocols have been developed to enable single sign on. OAuth, OpenID Connect, SAML and Kerberos are some of these protocols. In future videos, we will look at each of these protocols in more detail. You now know the basics of single sign-on and are ready to learn more advanced concepts. Good luck.